When you think of Dave Matthews, Guitar Hero is not necessarily a label that you would apply to him, but there are two elements to the secret weapon behind Dave Matthews and his incredible guitar playing. So throw away your pedal board, get rid of the electric, pick up your acoustic, because today we're talking about economy when it comes to guitar playing. So the first element to Dave Matthews and his secret weapon to guitar playing comes in the form of two note chords. You've got songs like Love or Lay Down, Too Much on the next record, and then even later he got into things like Gray Street, which again, two note chords, that song's played on a 12 string, but you get the idea. When Dave plays the guitar, he is not overplaying, and that doesn't mean that he's not doing a lot. If you watch his right hand, it is cranking all the time. He's doing a lot, but we're talking economy in notes. Now, if you've listened to Dave Matthews' band, you know there's a lot going on. We've got an incredible drummer in Carter Beaufort who has a drum set that dwarfs most people's drum sets. You've got a saxophone, a violin. These days, you've got trumpet, electric guitar, bass, keys, there's a lot going on. So the guitar has to fit into a specific place. And Dave Matthews, being the underrated genius that he is, wrote guitar parts that these musicians around him would listen to and then have plenty of space to work within. So take Tripping Billies, for example. <laughs> All of the elements to the song are there in that guitar part, but I'm only playing two notes at a time. The right hand is giving you all the rhythmic cues you need, and the left hand is fretting those notes. Now, of course, when you bring the rest of the band in, they flesh it out and it becomes the very unique sound that is Dave Matthews' band. But it all boils down to this very, very stripped back two note chord that Dave Matthews is using. So the second and perhaps most important element to Dave Matthews and his approach to guitar playing is what his left hand is not doing. Now, if you watch Dave Matthews play, for some songs, he's playing a lot of notes. Take Satellite, for example. I'm playing a lot of notes, there's a lot going on there, but what's my left hand not doing? It's not moving up and down the neck. It is staying anchored in one place. And this is the hallmark to Dave Matthews and his secret weapon for creating guitar parts that are unlike any other. You could play Satellite by tuning your guitar down a half step and then doing something like that. But that's crazy because you have to sing over top of this as well. Dave Matthews found a way, and it's basically a finger exercise to stay right here, anchored at the fourth fret in the key of A flat. This concept of economy and movement of your left hand can actually be applied to songs like Tripping Billies with the two note chords as well. If you notice, earlier in the video, I actually played Tripping Billies incorrectly because for me, what makes sense is, is I'm doing all of this sliding around the neck, but if you watch Dave Matthews play the guitar, he is not moving nearly as much as I am when he plays a song like Tripping Billies. And he is taking advantage of all four fingers that are available on his left hand, which a lot of us don't do. So the best part about the secret weapon behind Dave Matthews and his guitar playing is that it can actually make you and me a better guitar player, even if we don't want to be like Dave Matthews. I know he can be a polarizing figure in music. A lot of people can't stand his voice. Maybe it's the violin, maybe it's the saxophone, but it's undeniable that the guitar parts are incredibly unique and actually pretty difficult to play if you've never played them before. And if you're not a big Dave Matthews fan, maybe you play metal, maybe you play jazz, you play something else, trust me, you can get something out of learning these songs. They are challenging, they're interesting, and they might open up some new perspective to you on the guitar.